today we are only eating heart-shaped food for 24 hours. I just love this season because everything is pink and hearts. I can only eat if they're shaped like hearts, so I'm going to have to get a little creative. So it is breakfast. I'm having a little bit of a late breakfast today just because I had a few errands to run this morning. We are going to start with some protein heart-shaped pancakes. And right now I'm on my fitness journey, so I'm going to try to make this very protein-packed breakfast because I always like my breakfast to be the biggest meal of my day to give me the most energy. So we're making heart-shaped pancakes. Um, I haven't made these in a really long time because I just typically eat eggs and tempeh bacon and potatoes and half of a protein shake for breakfast. A couple of years ago, I made these vegan pancakes that consisted of a banana, a cup of oat, and a cup of almond milk. We're just gonna add some protein powder in there to really give it more heart, more sustenance, because we gotta get these muscles to grow. Oh my gosh, I just was so worried because I didn't know if I had maple syrup or not. So I do, and we're good, okay. So this recipe is just really easy. You just need a banana, a cup of oats, and a cup of milk, and you blend it. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna use my cute little measuring cup. One cup of oats, which I'm gonna makeshift this. Another one. Another, oh my gosh, do I need baking soda? Oh my God, maybe I need baking soda in this. I don't know. That should be good. One cup of ice. It's a lot of chalk. We're gonna clean as we go. I typically cook every day, but lately I've been meal prepping on Sundays. I make dinner for the week. We're gonna put some almond milk. Oh, uh, sorry, I was testing to see if the audio was on. Almond milk, one cup. Let's just do it. These are some beautiful bananas. Like, look at that, that is, that is nice. Pop our banana in there. Oh, almost dropped it. One, two, three, four, bye. I'm just gonna go for one scoop of protein powder. We're testing out this recipe right now to see if it'll be any good. So we're gonna find out. Thinking I wanna add some cinnamon here. <laughs> we'll probably just add like, that much. Let's add a little salt too. You know what? I'm just, I've been cooking a lot, so maybe I'm learning how to be in, more intuitive. But let's blend. Oh, what? Why isn't it working? Oh. I think that's good. Oh, it smells good. It just, it literally smells like a protein shake. It smells great, actually. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, let's get some. Ooh. We're gonna get our pan ready. I haven't made pancakes in so long. Oh no, I have to get my spatula. As you can see, we're getting our spatula. And oh, my favorite spatula is it in here. So I guess I'm just gonna have to use this one. Which, why am I out of breath? Because uh, for opening a drawer. Well, I haven't ate yet today. It's, a lot. it's past 11. I usually eat at like nine or 10 by 10. So this is pretty good. I am gonna be using this. I can't find my other one. So I really hope this works. I'm gonna try to use this and not have it too high so where it's gonna, you know, get this thing hot and whatnot. Hopefully it doesn't seep through. I had a way better device for this. Let's start with about a third cup. This is what my grandma does. When she made me pancakes, she would grab a measuring tool. That seems like it's doing okay. Here's a closer look of what we got going on here. It's looking promising, it's cooking. I may have put way too much oil on the pan, but you know, th this pan is really good quality. Like best pan I've ever owned in my entire life. Lit I think it's called Callaway, Megan recommended it to me. Okay, so we're just gonna let it cook. I realized I was like, oh my God, I need baking soda, but that's because I got two recipes mixed up where I used to make this oatmeal, or oat chocolate chip cookie, and obviously you need it in the baking. You need to add the baking soda if you're baking it. Okay, let's test it. Oh, that's literally perfect. Look at the perfection of this heart. It is phenomenal. Try to flip it. Ugh. Oh, oh, oh my God. This is going so so good. This looks delicious. So I'm letting them cook a little bit longer because they felt really undercooked still. So they look burnt, but 
apparently it's on three, so <laughs> I'll just turn it down, let them sort of cook in the middle. But in the meantime, I want to make some heart-shaped butter. I have this little stamper thing. So if I push really hard into this butter, it's going to make a heart shape. That is a really ugly heart. I'm really annoyed. Okay, our pancakes are done, I hope. I'm just gonna plate them up. They're not the most like appealing pancakes, but they're definitely heart-shaped. Let's add the heart-shaped butter. Ooh, look! Oh, come on, butter. Stay there, look aesthetic. Okay, I'm gonna do a thumbnail picture. Anyways, let's go eat our heart-shaped protein pancakes. Spread around the butter. I don't know if I have to unseal this or not. I do, I hate doing this so much. Oh, it's actually easy, Never mind. I don't like too much syrup because it drowns the pancakes. Okay, it looks a little bit undercooked on the inside, but that's fine. I mean, it's just gonna taste like oatmeal pancakes. So let's try it. Mmm! Mmm! What? What? Mmm! Oh my gosh! This is delicious! I wasn't expecting it to be this flavorful. So if you're a consistency person, you're gonna wanna cook these even longer. I felt like I was cooking for, oh my God, 40 minutes. It took me 40 minutes to make these. Um, maybe I should have just put it on an even lower heat and let it sit. It just still tastes a little undercooked. So maybe I'll make them even thinner. One fourth of a cup of batter. And this is like an 8.5 out of 10. I'm gonna make this more. Um, that was amazing. But it's not really that much for breakfast. I'm starting to fill myself, that was Astro. I'm starting to fill myself get full, but I know I'm gonna need a snack. So my plans for the day, I really wanna work out. And then later in the evening, Megan and I are gonna go run some errands together and then watch Vanderpump Rules. When it comes out, because there's a new episode tonight, I'm gonna need some snacks. Or maybe this will hit, I don't know. You know like when you eat pancakes and it just hits you later, but I feel like I'm gonna be hungry soon is what I'm saying. This was the mess I made from breakfast, which isn't terrible, but now we must clean it. Cleaning time will happen. I'm feeling actually really good after that breakfast. I feel full, I feel sustained. So I'm gonna go upload my video and then try to muster up the strength to work out. Because it's workout day today. I'm gonna show you all a quick update of my office right now. There are gonna be some changes coming soon. I'm excited to show you. I'm literally out of breath from walking upstairs, but oh my gosh, I was gonna say something I forgot. Oh. I'm gonna plan to have lunch around 2.30, which I really hope I'm gonna be able to make because it looks so cute, but a little bit difficult and it's gonna be messy to make lunch. Today is my day off of recording and you're like, oh my God, you're recording right now, but I just mean like Roblox videos. I will stay in my pajamas as long as I possibly can, which is gonna be until I work out and get this video up. So today I'm uploading Mystery Wheel Controls What I Wear and Dress to Impress. So that will be going up on my Roblox channel. And I'm gonna try to drink this thing of water. It's 64 ounces. It is over a, it's almost two liters. Oh, <gasps> cause you're, aren't you supposed to drink like one liter of, a day or 124 ounces? So I do not, I, mm -mm, I'm gonna cover this up because do not categorize me as a Stanley girl. I'm not a Stanley girly. These girlies made me so mad at Target when they like stormed. It's like us pink people can't have any nice things because these people will buy and then resell them. Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame. I get it. It's your grind. It's your grind. But as somebody from this side of it, it sucks. Do you like my new strawberry lamp? I think it's rather swell. This is my gym room. It, it's unfinished but it's a work in progress you know but i still use it i still can make use of it so i am going to be getting wallpaper here it looks crazy because look what the dogs did to this box one time and then they also ate their bed probably like get rid of it no look at him he loves it he still loves his bed oh ouchie he hit himself i know so he knows i'm about to work out this area, I have to just organize. It's really unorganized in here. I've been working out for a while now, but I have really bad 
I just, I just hate working out in front of other people. So as you can see, I'm on workout number seven for great glutes and I'm just going to, oh hey, get that started and ready. Hey, hey, hey. She kicks my butt. This, I love this trainer so much, but I'm gonna go get ready. I got deodorant on my shirt, but I disregard that. Okay, I'm still kind of full from breakfast. It hasn't been that much time. I've been trying to find a hack for cuter workout clothes, not a hack, but just place to shop for cuter workout clothes because I want some bedazzle. I want some razzle dazzle. So I'm like, oh my God, what about ice skating pants? Because they're totally blinged out on the sides. We'll see if this is actually a good workout hack or not, or I'm just gonna be sweating because there is a little bit of a lining in there. Just a little tiny bit, it's a little soft. Remember, keep the hips low and chest. You are in control with your feet at the bottom. Oh my God. Take a moment to I did. To a centered space. Maybe she wants a stretch. Back. And this was my progress of the day. As you could see, I've been going up more and more in weights. So it's great because I'm progressing. Now to do 30 minutes on the treadmill. It has been a couple hours since breakfast. So I would like to have some lunch. It's about 2.03 right now. And I had ordered some food for this video and I realized that I had accidentally ordered the wrong type of mozzarella for what I was wanting to make for lunch. So I'm gonna head over to the store and get the right mozzarella because it just won't be as good. It won't have the same vibe as I really want it to have. Forcing myself to go. I don't like going to the grocery store, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I really want a yummy lunch for this challenge. These are the pants. I think they're so cute. I'm just gonna go in my workout clothes and add a jacket because it's kind of cold outside. We got it, as well as some cute flowers. That looks pretty. And here are the other flowers I got. Pretty tulips. Oh, I love it. At this point, I am absolutely starving. So I have this watermelon, and in order for me to eat it, I'm gonna have to make it heart shaped. I need a snack. Oh, I can't say that. What the heck? Oh, I'm doing it. Oh my gosh, I did it. Now what? What do I do? Do I just cut it like this? Ooh. I think it's because my knife sucks. Now, now I have something else. I have this. I'm gonna try to, yeah. It's heart shaped. Then we're gonna, it's a little bit in the rind, but it works. Then I could just give these to the doggies. Cause I feel like they would like that. It's turning out swimmingly. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be the cutest little snack. I don't have tahini, so I just put salt. I don't know, I just really like salt and sweet. I haven't had watermelon in a really long time, so we'll see. Hmm. <laughs> Astro's just resting his head on my lap. You can't see. Okay, I needed something. So this, oh, okay, it's getting better. I think it's because I got way too close to the rind. Little heart-shaped watermelon, it's so cute. I know I have a big task at hand, for lunch, I wanna make, I don't even know how to classify it, but it's just bread with mozzarella cheese and tomatoes and avocado, all in heart shaped. I'm gonna show you the inspo photo. Let me finish this watermelon. This right here is what I want to make. Look how delicious that looks. It, it looks like perfection. I don't like balsamic vinaigrette. I'm gonna put olive oil on top. So I, this is gonna be the hardest part. It's perfectly lining up the avocados. Oh, what is that? I didn't get any of that. Oh well, that's fine. I'm, I don't like sauce that much anyway, or. All right, wish me luck. I don't know how she got that perfect heart-shaped tomato. Let's just start with avocado. Okay, this is already looking a little messed up. Ew! Of course it's icky there. Oh my, finally, finally sliced it. Like me. Instagram chefs, I don't know how you're doing it. How do people do this? Excuse me. So I'm gonna give it a little push, a little heart. That's not bad. We can make it work. We could still make this happen. Okay. <gasps> okay, this avocado is so much better. I'm doing it so much better. You push it down like that. Then you just give it a little chomp thing. She stick it right in? Okay, because I'm reading the comments and it says it helps to stick cookie cutter into the soft side of the tomato. So should I just do that? Oh no, ew, it came out bad. How did she get it so perfect? 
That's what I don't understand. Girl, what the heck? This is like digging this right into the tomato. Maybe that's what she did. Yes. Okay, don't give up. Never back down, never what? <laughs> Feels like I'm dissecting a tomato. Is this what I have to do to like get an aesthetic meal? So this is how it's going from this angle over here. These are gonna be the easiest. This is literally sliced mozzarella. So how could this go wrong? Okay, this is gonna be so easy, it has to be. Let's see if I could get two hearts on one cheese. So easy. <gasps> it's beautiful, it's perfect, it's perfect, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, okay. Let's do a little cheese test. Pretty good. Everything else, let me tell you, that was not an easy task. We have everything we need here. Well, we need olive oil and salt. Uh, I think I cooked this too long. Let me just show you a quick close up. The hearts. So look what I have for dessert tonight. Little Debbie's heart cakes. These are so good, I've already opened them. Gonna look at her photo. She starts off strong with the mozzarella. Then it's an avocado. It kind of like layers it. So maybe I'm gonna start with the avocado. I got a tomato. <laughs> this is kind of hard. Hey, we're making it work. Whoa. Look at that. A little drizzle of olive oil. Salt. Instagram versus reality. Here it is. Let's try it. I wanna try this one. I wish I would've gotten sourdough bread for it. But oh, take a bite of the avocado. Hmm. I wasn't sure about the tech, the consistency at first because the bread is really mushy and then the avocado is really mushy. So now I'm gonna go for the tomato and mozzarella. It's just the bread. The bread is flopping over. I needed like a nice sourdough. But if this bread was better, this would have been so good because I love avocado toast and I love mozzarella and tomatoes. Like I love burrata and heirloom tomatoes. That's one of my favorite snacks. Mm. Good, I think breakfast was better, but I messed this up. I'm home. I just had a really fun time with Megan. We went to Home Depot to get something because my new buffet arrived and the handle was broken. And, and rather than sending it back, I'm just gonna fix it and handle it because who cares? And then we went to Callaway's, which is this flower shop because Megan inspired me to get some pretty flowers. Like, look, look at those. And then we went to her house and watched Vanderpump. I showed her all the new stuff in my house because she was, she sent me the stuff to get for my house. She told me to get this, she told me to get the buffet. She, she like has just, she's just so good with interior decoration and style. She's amazing at it. And I bought like almost everything she's recommended to me and it all looks amazing. Megan also got me this pan. She went to the store and she saw this and thought of me and she got it for me and it's literally perfect. It's perfect for the video today in itself too because I was gonna make some homemade pizza. I've never made pizza at home before. No, I have once and I messed it up. So I'm gonna really be careful to follow the instructions. Let's not mess this up. Heart shite pizza. We've got all our ingredients there minus some oil and some Italian. It's 9 p.m. So I'm just gonna make super easy, quick pizza. I'm gonna try to make these little mozzarella's heart shaped and I forgot that I got blocked mozzarella that I'm going to have to shred. Not looking forward to that. It's fine, no, I just gotta get in the spirit. Let's get into the spirit. So we've gotta grease our pan. Heat oven to 400 degrees, unrolled dough on cookie sheets. That should be good. It's not gonna rip the instructions. All right, then you just gotta whack, and then it pops right on open. So, unrolled dough on cookie sheet, formed a desired thickness and shape. Well, I want it to be a heart, so. How do people do this? I'm gonna have to Google this. Oh my God. Okay, I guess he's stretching the dough. Okay, he's literally cutting it into a heart. If he could do it, I could do it. Okay, he's cutting a heart. If anyone was built for this, it's me. Right, that's not bad. Ugh. Okay. 
Am I not gonna have any crust on my pizza? Hold on. Okay, let's try to stretch this. Maybe I could try to make my own crust. This looks terrible. No, maybe I shouldn't. We're just gonna have to roll with it. We have to pre-bake this for eight minutes at 400 degrees. So let's get our cute heart shaped bowls. Get the cheese ready for serving. I'm just gonna use this. A little close up of my ingredients. We have the cheese and then we have the heart shaped mozzarella. Then when our beautiful pizza is done pre-baking, bake it out top as desired. And then, then you cook it for six to 10 minutes longer. This is brand new, let's see if I can open it. Ugh, without reinforcements, nope. Okay, you can either whack it, this is what I do, or you can get a little gripper. Oh yeah, there we go. Pizza's done, oh! Wow, it really looks cooked already and it looks terrible. Does it look like a heart? Does it look like a heart, guys? I really hope so. It looks like a butt. I like extra sauce. Anytime I get pizza, I like extra sauce. We're gonna take some cheese, spread that all around. Then before I add the mozzarella, I wanna add some Italian seasoning on the bottom layer. Then I wanna add these heart-shaped little guys. Oh my God, it's so cute. Look at that. Put her back in the oven for six more minutes. We'll have the grand finale here momentarily. He doesn't care about Cheese the moment of truth is here. The pizza is ready. Ooh, that doesn't look too bad. I'm just gonna let it cool for a few minutes and then I'm gonna taste test it. Here's a little zoom in of all the deliciousness. Okay, I'm doing it. Here is the heart shaped pizza. Looks good. Very cooked. Let's give her a taste test. Mm. That's actually not bad. Mm. The crunch on this, it tastes like the a really great version of homemade pizza. See, the tomato sauce is too like spaghetti-y for me, but what did I expect? I should have got more of like a hearty pizza sauce. It is so yummy. I will be able to eat this whole thing. Mmm. 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 One more bite on camera and then I'm gonna go and eat this and go to bed. And I'll probably end the video here because I'm, I'm sleepy. I'm a sleepy girl. You guys want me to do another food video? Only eating, eating pink food for 24 hours? Let me know down in the comments. Let me know what you wanna see me do next. Bye. It's the next morning and I totally forgot that I had made iced with hearts. I'm drinking my morning celery juice because I drink celery juice on an empty stomach. So maybe I can make it cute this morning. Why not? Oh, and look at that. Mm. Might be a little funky. It might not even fit. Let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, look how cute. Heart-shaped ice. 